Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tips for China. This is my first video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn your Windows computer into a VPN hotspot or basically act as a VPN router. My actual router stopped working yesterday and I sent it for warranty repair. So I thought today would be a good chance to do this video. The reason you might want to do this is, let's say you have a Xbox or a PlayStation or an Apple TV or some kind of device that doesn't have uh, support for a VPN. Or maybe your VPN provider only allows you one connection at the same time. So in that case you want to share that one connection with several devices. Okay, let's get down to it. You'll need to download a software called OSTOTO Hotspot. I will put a, a link in the description. Uh, download the software and install it. Um, you can open the software. It's very simple, just creates... Oh, what's this? Okay, forget about that. Okay, um, what we're going to do now is check the settings. I've called my network uh, TPC. That's just the name of the Wi-Fi network that I'm broadcasting from my computer. Basically, uh, the hotspot. Password, tips for China. Well, if you can get close enough to my house, uh, feel free to get on this Wi-Fi. Good luck. Okay, uh, a few basic settings. Very simple. I always use normal mode. There's two modes, normal mode and speed mode. So it's already on normal mode now. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Sometimes it switches to speed mode and I just put it back to normal mode. I find the normal mode just works a little bit better. You can try both and see what works better for you. So we turn on the hotspot and now I'm just going to connect to it uh, this new Wi-Fi called TPC with my phone. Connect from my normal Wi-Fi to this uh, TPC. Just connect to it as you would any other Wi-Fi. Obtaining IP address connected. So now I'm connected. Okay, so now my phone's connected, but uh, the question is how do I turn the VPN on on my computer and share the VPN connection through this hotspot? Well, to do that, you're going to have to first uh, disconnect the hotspot, make sure it's turned off, because you actually need to connect your VPN first before you turn the hotspot on. Now, if you do this out of order, um, you turn the VPN on after the hotspot's already on, it's going to mess up your internet, maybe on your computer or on your phone. If that happens, you do things out of order, just shut everything down and start over again. So now my hotspot is off, I'm going to connect to VPN AC, get a VPN connection first, and then I will put the turn on the, the hotspot. Connecting. Okay, now I'm connected to my VPN. I'm also going to do some testing with uh, other providers, Viper VPN and Watopia in a little bit, so stay tuned to see that. Turn on the hotbot after the VPN is connected. Okay, let's go to my phone and see how it's working. Okay, just verify we are connected to TPC. Now let's uh, verify, see where we are. Yes, California, that sounds right. So let's let's try a speed test. See what kind of speed we can get with this with this type of VPN connection. Begin test. Uh, 3.14 M download. It's not too bad for this kind of uh, Wi-Fi VPN router connection because it's, you're kind of just sharing your, your computer's Wi-Fi. Okay, so you've seen that this works with uh, VPN AC. Let's try another one. Now, if you want to change, disconnect your VPN or change to another VPN, remember, always turn off the hotspot first before you change your internet connection by changing VPNs or whatever you're doing. So turn off Wi-Fi. Make sure that's off before you do anything with the VPN. If you do find yourself 
following the wrong order of these steps and that you have no internet connection, best thing to do is just turn everything off, turn, all, turn your VPN off, turn this uh, OSTO TO hotspot off, um, shut down the program, just turn everything off and get your internet to work normally first and then just start over again. I've done it before, it's uh, it's a little bit annoying, but if you just remember the sequence of what to do, then you won't have this problem. Okay, so let's exit out of VPN AC. Disconnect. Let's try it with Viper VPN. So Viper VPN, let's, uh, I'm using this uh, Shyamalan, Shyamalion. 256 bit, that's really the only one that works for uh, Viper VPN. Connect to the fastest server. Okay, we're connected. OSTO, turn on the Wi Fi. Okay, we're now connected to Wi Fi on the phone through Viper VPN. Let's try make sure that we're connected to what we think we're connected to. Hong Kong, yes. Try a speed test, see what kind of speed we can get from Viper using this kind of uh, Wi-Fi connection. A uh, little bit slower than uh, VPN AC, but still not too bad. So we got 0 0.97 download and 0 0.09 upload. And I'll show you with one more provider with Vitopia. See, I've already turned off the Viper VPN and turned off the hotspot, so connect to Watopia now. My Watopia is about to expire, so may as well do some more Watopia testing before that happens. Alright, very few servers actually work for Watopia, so I think the this is one of the few ones that's working. Connect to that one. PPTP, yes. Connected, okay, now with Utopia, I'm just going to make sure that um, I actually have internet. Because you never know. Okay, seems to be working. Now let's turn on the hotspot. Okay, let's check, where are we? Yes. It connected to Watopia. Let's see how fast Watopia can be. We are connected to PPTP, remember, so that generally is faster. I'll do another test with um, VPN AC PPTP as well, just to compare the PPTP results. Upload, uh, not so good. So the Utopia works as well, um, although the upload didn't connect to the server very well, so I guess it timed out. Let's just uh, turn off our hotspot, disconnect Utopia. And I would actually like to just do also a test with VPN AC using the PPTP protocol as well. So you feel free to stop watching the video now if you're getting bored, or stay tuned if you want to watch one more uh, speed test.
PPTP only, US West. PPTP is always um, tends to work very well in China compared to the other protocols, but it's also less secure. So if your security is a big concern for you, better not to use PPTP at all. And in that case, don't use Watopia because their other protocols don't really work in China at all. Okay, US I'm connected. Let's turn on the hotspot. for the phone to connect okay let's see where we are okay connected to VPN AC now let's see how VPN AC PPTP does oh yeah pretty fast PPTP from VPN AC there Okay, so 9.04 and 5.2, not too bad at all. Okay, I just remembered that actually the PPTP for Viper um, is also working in China. I think earlier I said only that uh, Shamalion was working, but uh, PPTP actually works too. What doesn't work is the open VPN. So let's uh, change to PPTP and Viper and we'll do one more test. I don't really like the v Viper VPN software so much, it's a bit difficult to change protocols. I like having the Witopia or the VPN AC option of quickly and easily changing the protocol on the connection page. So let's connect to uh, the Los Angeles actually because uh, it's not really fair to do Hong Kong because the other VPNs are doing Los Angeles. So let's uh, connect to Los Angeles and do a test from Los Angeles. Okay, verify. Let's see, where are we? Yep. Speed test. Okay, what you have to do is actually clear the data, otherwise it will connect to the server from the last test. Alright, let's see what Viper can do on PPTP. Fast upload. Download not so much. Still didn't get really very good speeds with uh, Viper VPN, so I'm gonna give them one more chance and let's connect to another server. Let's uh, turn off the uh, turn off our hotspot first because we're gonna be changing servers. Always turn off the hotspot every time you want to change the server. All right, Viper, let's see. Let's just try the fastest server, PPTP. I'm assuming this will connect us to Hong Kong, as it usually does. Okay, turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay, we're now on, in pro I think, probably in Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong. Verify where we are. No, that's our pre refresh that a few times. I don't know why this Dolphin browser doesn't, uh, doesn't refresh the page very well. Okay, Viper, this is your last chance to get some decent speed. 
Let's see what you can do. Okay, Hong Kong PPTB. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see if he can do an upload now. Ah, uh, upload not so good. So either the download is slow and upload is fast, or the download is fast and the upload is slow. Thank you for watching my video. If you got this far, you must be interested in uh, VPNs. So please go to my website, www.tipsforchina.com. Get more uh, helpful hints and tips for using a VPN in China. I've also do speed tests regularly with the different VPN providers and uh, put all the results on the website. So go have a look and also please like my YouTube channel and uh, we'll have more videos coming soon.